Hello, how you doing? This is Alvin from the Madden Corner. Just wanted to give you a quick video on my post about creating your own video surveillance system. This is going to work great whether it's for your home or your office. As long as you have a Skype account and a webcam, you can use this on your desktop or your laptop. Point it in the area of view that you want to see. This is going to just uh, be real simple for you. Once you get all the programs installed, you want to go ahead and open up the security account, and that's the account that's going to be in the area of view. You want to go to Tools, Options, Video Settings. Make sure that your webcam is configured properly and it's working properly. Go down to these bottom two columns. You want to check people in my contact list on both. Once that is completed, you want to go to Calls. Same thing under Allow Calls From people in my contact list only because you only want your primary account access in the video. Next, check answer incoming calls automatically. Hit save. Next, you want to go to contacts and add contacts. You want to add the name of your primary account. Hit add contact. And then the next screen will come up and it'll say send a contact. And from that point, you will have to go back to your primary account and approve basically like the friend request for that. And once you get all that set up, everything is pretty much easy from there. You want to log out of the security account, you want to run a test, go back to your the primary account, the account that you would be checking from if you were on the road or away from your house. Hit video call. And for the example, I've put my laptop in front of my TV in my living room just so you can see that once you get it set up you can watch video in your house and see exactly what's going on okay next we want to open up vitamin D and in vitamin D we want to go to the tools menu options and here is where you want to set up the amount of space you would like to have for the video to save to uh, so you can make that one gigabyte, two gigabytes, or whatever you want. And also right here is where we're going to set the number of days for the video to be saved. Um, if you want to do one day, that's fine. If you want to check it every day, if you're going to be out of town, you may want to set it to you know the amount of days that you're out of town. Next is where we want the video to save too. Now this is a very important one to make this a nice automated process that we can check from anywhere. We want to make sure that we set the file location to save to our drop account so just go in there find your drop account and save that after you get all that completed you want to make sure that you're in monitor view i'm already in monitor view at the moment this is what it looks like next you want to go to a new rule i have some rules set up as you can see but just starting out you want to go to new rule name the room that you're going to save it as and then from there you have several options you can record any object in the room you can set the camera to only look for people or unknown objects and also you can set it up to you know anywhere are you recording inside or are you recording outside somebody entering or exiting a doorway it just all depends on what configuration you need for your exact situation and then under the last setting it's just on my computer but we're not going to save it to my computer we want to make sure it goes to our drop folder and there's also options here to email you the video clips as well. And once you get up and once you get all that set up, you know, you're pretty much you're good to go and that's done. And then the last step is just making sure that our Dropbox account is figured from properly. And once you set Dropbox up and get it installed, uh, make a folder named security. And once you make that security folder, it's going to automatically save everything in that security folder and then from there you can simply go to dropbox.com log into your account and have access to that same folder open it up and watch the video now the difference between obviously skype and vitamin d is that skype you're watching your house live vitamin d is only recording if there's any movement so therefore really you shouldn't have any video sometimes vitamin d it's going to also put a highlight box i forgot to mention that it's going to put a highlight box around anything it picks up a record so if a person walks to the doorway it's going to highlight the box and then it's going to start recording so it's the good thing about vitamin d it's really not going to take up a lot of space because 
if you're using this for security and monitoring, then no one should be in your home for it to activate anyway. So that pretty much covers this review. Uh, for more tips like this, sign up for my email updates. Check me out on Facebook at Madden Corner. Have a good day.